Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to obfuscate Python code in order to optimize it for its size and let's consider a program that grids user dependent on current type as an example code to obfuscate. Another thing to consider regarding this particular program in Citaro is that it can follow it completely in browser because I've created this experimental Python development environment for you guys to type code just being right here without need to install uh, any Python environment on your local system. So if you're excited, let's actually start writing some code. Okay, so first let's import the daytime module. So I simply say import daytime here and let's create the now variable equals to daytime dot daytime dot now and bring this to screen and we will see our current date. Now we need to reset this uh, time because it will provide in some tasks to look over all the hours in the day and in order to do that we need simply to say replace hour equals to zero and minute equals to zero and also second equals to zero as well. Let's bring this one more time. Okay now we have our time being reset here. So uh, now let's loop over the hours so for our in range from 0 to 24, because we have 24 hours in the day. And now let's actually print, uh, now let's actually print now plus daytime dot time delta and hours equals to hours. So now we see that uh, we are incrementing hour by one here. So uh, the very last thing to consider here is actually to replace, is actually to get rid of this date and this milliseconds here. So in order to achieve that, we need simply to say strf time and specify the appropriate formatting. So I just want only hours and only minutes and oops and seconds like this so now we have our uh, uh, time uh, being printed correctly now let's actually provide uh, the program logic itself so here let's uh, print also good uh, good night okay and now we say simply if our uh, in range from 0 to 5 well in this case we need to print good night like this and then we're going further on so let's just grab this line one more time so just copy and here we say if our in range from 5 to well say 12 in this case we want to we want to greet user saying good morning okay good morning let's see this again so it's four this good night five good morning okay and now uh, uh, let's say if our in range from 12 to well say uh, 18 like this so in this case we want to say oh maybe not maybe 16 so here we'll say good afternoon okay good afternoon okay and finally uh, oops I'm sorry say if uh, okay so let's basically better make it elif here so elif 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 and else uh, friend uh, good evening okay and just run this one more time so we have good night good night good morning okay good afternoon and from 16 to 23 good evening great so from now on we'll start obfuscating this code in order to optimize it for code size Okay, so the very first thing to consider in order to optimize this code for size is actually to avoid duplicated print statements. So in order to achieve that, let's actually copy one print statement here and specify the variable holding the state of the day. So here I say 
state like this and now the state variables should be equal to night morning afternoon and evening respectively so let's actually implement that as well so where we have our state equals so just copy this and paste equals also here and here so And if we run the code, we have absolutely the same output as before. Okay, so the next thing to consider in order to reduce the code size is actually try to get rid of this if statement definition. In order to do that, we need to define a couple more variables. So the first variable would be called states that would list the current states of the day that we have. So let's specify here the night, morning, and uh, afternoon and finally evening like this and uh, the second thing to consider is actually uh, let's create the hours array that would actually map the current hour that is within the given range to the particular state of the day so let me just show you what I mean by saying that so we have the night uh, and the night is states at the, is located at states list at the index of zero so if we just say zero 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 five times that means that uh, our is zero uh, we hit this index our equals to one we hit with he hit this our equals two here our equals three here equals four here so whenever we hit uh, we have the hour in range from zero to five we would actually be returning the night so uh, we'll be using will will be indexing states by, by this value within the hours list and apps let's do now absolutely the same for the rest of uh, for the rest of the states basically the second state is the morning and it's uh, so in order to obtain the range we need to say 12 minus 15 which would be equal to 7 and the morning has the index of 1 so we need to uh, uh, place 1 here 7 times so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now uh, the next is afternoon so it has to be placed four times because because 16 minus 12 would be equal to 4 and the afternoon has the index of 2 so 1 2 3 4 and finally uh, the same stuff for the evening so evening is uh, evening state has the uh, index of 4 and 24 minus 16 would be equal to 8 so we need uh, not index of 4 index of 3 sorry so we need to specify uh, 3 8 times so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and here is the magic guys so if we just simply uh, try to reference now the states let me, let me just show you so if just reference the states by 0 here we have all the nights and so on but we need actually to uh, uh, extract our index using the hour so we can just index our hours array by the particular hour and that's how we obtain the current state of the day and from now on we can actually simply get rid of this nasty if statement definition and now the code size looks like this and it has absolutely the same output as before from now on we can go even further so let's replace this list with a string and i can simply say here uh four zeros okay one two three four five okay five zeros one two three four five six seven ones one two three four five six seven one two three four twos one two three four and uh, eight three so one two three four five six seven eight like this and now i can simply get rid of this uh big uh, list definition and one uh, additional stuff is needed here actually we need to convert our hours uh, uh indexed by the hour uh, to the integer value in order to convert this particular character to to the integer and in that case we'll be able to reference the states 
just uh, as we did here before so just run the code we have absolutely the same result here and of course uh, we can uh, create we can uh, specify the only string for the state instead of having the list uh, of the strings so in order to do that we can simply use the spaces as the delimiters for our states like this so uh, now we need uh, to add some extra logic here as well so we can't really index states differently uh, at, uh, directly at the moment because it's not a list anymore but we can uh, say here simply split and this will split this uh, state into night morning afternoon evening uh, elements and in that case we can also actually uh, reference them just like we before let's execute the code and here we see absolutely the same output but from now on we can go even further we can specify the only uh, the, we can actually concatenate these two strings so if I simply say uh, like this so let's delimit uh, let's use this or symbol as a delimiter uh, so now we can simply say uh, so uh, in order to get our uh, let's start with the hours so in order to get our hours uh, we don't have hours anymore instead we have our states now we need to split the states by this or symbol and use uh, uh, the last element so it's this is element zero this is element one so here we specify the index of ones just to reference this one this part and here states we can before we actually able to split uh, uh, this where we were splitting this part so in order to do that first we need actually to split the entire uh, the entire string by this uh, or symbol and this time we need the first element so we need to, to reference this one so let's execute the code one more time and as you can see here we have absolutely the same output again now we can reduce the code size even more the following way so we can import datetime as d and here uh, specify the only d letter to represent the entire datetime module here okay another thing to consider is actually we can replace this uh, hour with the h we need to specify this respectively here and over here and we have an absolutely the same output also we can replace this for loop use, uh, uh, with the list comprehension instead so just get rid of this stuff and here i can simply say uh, for h in range from 0 to 24 and run the code I have absolutely the same result again and probably one last thing we can inline our null variable here so if we just cut this from here and paste over here and get rid of this stuff as well and execute the code we have absolutely the same re result okay guys so this is it for this video i hope you've learned something interesting from this so until next time and take care hello guys in this video we're gonna learn <laughs> hello guys in this video we're gonna learn uh <laughs> hello guys in this <laughs>